Hey what's up guys, Dhruval here back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create this photo manipulation and turn any day photo into a night photograph. So let's get started. So as you guys can see my image is already open inside Photoshop, uh, the woman image and the texture. Now these two images are from eventart.com and if you want to use them for practice the download link is in description so feel free to use it. And of course if you want you can go to file and open an image from here. So first of all uh, let's double click on it and unlock the background layer. It's not necessary but I just like to do it. Now here you can create an adjustment layer. So first of all I'm going to create curves and in the curves first of all I'm going to drag the slider way down here like this and then I will go to my blue channel and I will add some of the blue color not way too much just a touch so that looks fine to me and then select your mask uh, select a brush tool and make sure your color is black with opacity of 100% and start painting on her face and on her lantern because we want background to be darker but not her face because it's really close to lantern so it would be super super bright and take your time these things are like the more time you spend in masking and stuff the better your final output is going to be so take care of that and a bit of touch here and there so that we can get rid of these details and that looks fine to me and let's make it this one bit darker so that looks really great now create another curves adjustment layer from here as same and this time instead of making it darker make it brighter from here so I will go here and make it bit brighter and that looks fine go to blues and this time instead of adding blue we will add yellows so that looks fine to me make sure that it's not very strong otherwise it would not look that great and that looks great now we want it only on her face so click on the mask and press ctrl i so technically it will hide everything that's inside and this time uh, instead of black i'm gonna paint with white color so paint only on her with that white color so that looks uh, until it looks better you get the idea and go into details as much as you can uh, study some lantern images while you work so that you can figure out the best output and a little bit on that hand and not on this other side because that would be darker so yep that looks uh, fine to me good enough uh, not very good though <laughs> now create another blank layer from here and select your brush and mix sure it's black color but this time opacity maybe turn it down to 25 percent that seems fine or 27 whatever it doesn't have to be super accurate and start painting in the background to make it even darker and this process can take a bit of trial and error because it doesn't work super accurate in the first time so uh, if it doesn't work out just delete it try again or maybe do slowly really do not rush it like it and just take your time uh, it's just all about time and it would be nicer to paint on this really hard shadows like here so that we can get rid of them and that seems fine and make sure it's also not way too much <laughs> otherwise that would also not look really nice so yep that seems fine to me and and if you don't like it some places uh, then you can just simply grab your eraser tool and erase it like this I did here and from her face if you painted by mistake and that seems fine and if you think the effect is way too strong you can always go and decrease the opacity so that is always a really useful option but we do not need that one right now now create another adjustment layer and again select curves and make it darker like this and that seems fine and as you can see this is making image darker but not very good so change the blend mode to soft light so we can punch in some details so as you can see now her face looks much much better but uh, as you can see that uh, we need to decrease the opacity a little so maybe that seems fine and you can always double click and adjust it anytime you want and then I'm gonna remove some of this from her face so select your mask and make sure opacity is maybe like 30% uh, or 20% and the color is black and start painting on her face like this and also a bit off on her lamp oops <laughs> I have to select the brush tool first that was my mistake sorry so now as you can see black color with little opacity and start painting on her face like that and take your time and paint properly I'm giving this advice again and again but actually that's the main key uh, with these steps because if you rush the masking and not pay attention to the details yes in that final output it will show up 
if it doesn't feel right you can just always like decrease the opacity a lot and then remove it and that seems fine a bit here there and then again decrease the opacity to the value you needed so maybe it was 80 percent or something i don't know okay 82 seems fine to me and paint back uh, some of here so that okay. seems great I might go back to this layer and add touch more yellows because I think it needs slightly strong yellows. Okay, that seems fine. Now it's time to turn on the lamp. So create a new blank layer and fill in the black color. You can use this paint bucket tool here. Oops, uh, paint bucket and fill it. Now go to filter, render and select lens flare and make it small enough so that you don't have really harsh edges. So that looks great to me. Now hit OK and change the blending mode to screen and then put it right here and you can also make it slightly bigger if you like it. So make it a bit bigger. Uh, yes, that okay, that's way too big. Uh, make it kind of small so that it also fits inside the lamp. And that seems fine to me. And now go to image adjustment and go to hue saturation, turn on the colorize option and make it a bit what yellowish and maybe add some saturation if you like but i don't think okay that seems to work really nice hit okay and put it here if you want powerful effect you can just duplicate this layer and boom you have weird really powerful lens but we don't need that one and you can just simply erase this kind of stuff so select your eraser tool right click uh, and make sure the hardness is zero percent and then erase these parts from here and make sure opacity is 100% and erase somewhat like this and yep there you have a lamp turned on and if you turn it on and off as you can see it gives a real boost to the effect now we need to add some more yellow on her body and on a little bit on her lamp so create a new solid layer from here and I'm using the code of as you can see here let me paste it uh, 402700 so it's some dark yellow color and change the blend mode to screen and obviously it looks really crazy but uh, maybe turn down opacity to 10 or 13 percent if you turn it on and off you can see the difference now as always we want only on her so i'm going to select the mask and i'm going to press ctrl i so it will hide everything select my brush tool make sure it's white with 100 percent and paint only on her so we have that hazy yellow color on her and always if you want stronger one you can increase the opacity or maybe decrease it so maybe nine ten percent seems fine to me so yep that looks great now we need some of the glow around the lamp uh, so to create that create a new blank layer and make your brush really big and uh, if you want you can copy the same solid color so i'm just gonna double click and copy this color and then go to my layer and instead of this black color I'm gonna paste that color and if you want the code it's in description too so you can read it and then I'm gonna make a kind of a dot here uh, that big seems fine and then change the blend mode to screen so it's uh, if it looks really strong and uh, decrease the opacity to maybe let's say 30 percent press ctrl T and make it bigger so you have that really nice yellow glow around the lamp and if you turn it on and off you can see that difference now we need to add that bit of a blue in the like we are creating a night look so we need a slight blue color so create a new adjustment and select levels this time and this time go to blues and add a bit of a blue okay that seems fine and also add a bit of a yellow so we have enough to contrast with so yep that looks fine to me and if you turn it on and off you can see the difference and as you can see we have a bit of a branches here and here so you can always go back to this black layer as you can see and then make sure color is black and paint out these parts oops that's way too strong so i'm gonna turn down opacity to 40 30 percent and then paint here back so we need to see a bit of a branches but we do not want them completely so yeah that looks much much better to me now we need to add an gradient map so let's go back and create a new adjustment layer so where is gradient map and do not confuse it with the gradient we need a gradient map and then in the gradient map uh, you have default black and white so instead of white color we need a yellowish color so i'm gonna paste in my yellow code here uh, so as you can see it's eeb315 hit ok and ok and then change the blend mode to screen 
so it's obviously super super bright and we do not need it everywhere so select your mask press ctrl i as always and then paint only on her face so i'm gonna make the opacity 100 percent first and then only paint on her uh, so as you can see this is way strong right now but don't worry about it we can just decrease the opacity so let's make it to the let's say 30 percent seems fine okay that is great now as you can see everything is on its place but uh, the lamp is really near to her face but everything is not bright enough so I'm gonna go and create a new brightness contrast layer and add ton of brightness in this image so maybe 72% seems fine to me but we need it only on her face so as always invert your mask by pressing ctrl I and then paint only on her face and on this lamp like this and now it looks much much more amazing maybe remove a touch highlight from here and and also it looks really really strong so you can always turn down opacity so if I turn it on enough you can see that huge difference and also I forgot one step I'm really sorry for that but in this lens flare portion uh, you have to apply a layer mask on your flare uh, grab a brush tool and remove this flare from this two little uh, handles or whatever this is here okay and then uh, let's remove a slight bit from here too uh, you paint it as carefully as possible and once you think uh, that it is enough uh, like double click on your mask and feather it out so uh, do your best to feather it out and maybe yep uh, not that much and a little bit more it can take some time to adjust and if I turn it on and off my mask you can see the difference that now it feels more like inside and if you don't have CS6 and this option you can just simply apply a Gaussian blur to your mask so that is also really helpful so let's see the difference see that is amazing now we also need to add some brightness on her eyes so that they pop out really nice so create an adjustment layer of curves and add a bit of brightness don't worry about anything else just focus on her eyes so that, that looks great and then obviously invert everything by pressing ctrl i and then paint with white color only on her eyes like that and this way you can make uh, her eyes look really white and pop out even more so if I turn it on and off you can see the difference and then uh, turn down the opacity to blend them better so if I turn it on and off you can see that great difference now we also need to add a photo filter of yellow color so let's go and find the photo filter here is it and then change the uh, I have tried many different so you can find anyone like the one you like so I like the sepia one and on her let's say 55% it was the number I remember so that's the reason uh, so if I turn it on enough you can see it it also helps to blend that bit of a blue that we added with the levels to blend in even better now it's time for slide dodging and burning it's nothing pro just uh, create a new blank layer and press shift backspace so it will open this dialog box and you have to select this 50% gray and hit ok so it will just fill in a gray color and then uh, change the blend mode to soft light so if I turn it on and off you can see there is no difference but uh, now we are going to make a difference so make sure you have black and white as foreground color and turn down opacity to maybe like 15 or 10 don't go higher than that and then uh, oops uh, sorry my mistake uh, let's go to soft light back so uh, now you all you have to do is uh, paint with uh, white color in the bright area so I'm gonna paint with white color here and there like that and paint with black color in the darker area like that and a bit here there and this stuff you have to be really careful while doing it otherwise it can totally spoil the image too so here in the hand as you can see so I need to add a bit of a brightness here because it is really like near to the light and darkness so I'm gonna paint with black color in this dark part so it doesn't seem big difference but if I turn it on and off you can see that tremendous difference and it always uh, if you think it's strong you can just uh, turn down opacity to let's say 80% seems fine to me or let's say maybe 90% yeah that seems also enough to me and you can always like change it later so nothing big problem now the image is fine but it lacks kind of a contrast so go and create a new brightness contrast layer and make the contrast all the way up to 100% and if that is way too strong just go uh, back from there a slight bit yep that seems fine 
and maybe 60 percent okay no 55 6 is okay now her face is way too strong yellowish so i'm gonna remove a bit from here so decrease the opacity maybe <laughs> make it 50 percent and then remove a bit of oops make your brush bigger and then remove a bit from her face and maybe a bit from surrounding so that you can make that visible due to lamp so if i turn it on and off you can see the amazing difference now create another adjustment layer and this time select vibrance and add a lot of color because i think the color lacks in the image in the way it should be so yeah that seems fine and you can always remove it later a bit from her face because that's way too strong so that seems fine and you can always go back and increase the contrast even a little more to give it even more impactful look so yeah that seems fine maybe even a little more i'm just not getting sure with the contrast thingy so i'm sorry for that now it's time to add in the texture so we have our texture already here so i'm gonna just drag it here and drop it here and now it's time to add in the texture so let's go here and look at the texture so this is a download from DeviantArt so let's drag it here and drop it here and then press ctrl T to make it like rotate it and make it big enough so that it covers the whole background so that seems enough for me and even slightly bigger so you do not miss out any space and then uh, right click and convert it to a smart object and then change the blend mode to screen so uh, obviously it looks really strong but you can always decrease the opacity so maybe like 20-30% uh, seems fine to me and then go to filter blur and then go to motion blur uh, oops my mistake <laughs> go to filter blur and go to radial blur here and in the radial blur make sure you have the spin option with good or maybe best whatever you like and increase it uh, slight or maybe 10 11 is enough and let's photoshop do its work okay so that is way too strong so we have to it is a trial and error thing that's why i'm not editing out so let's go to blur and let's go to radial blur again and this time i'm gonna make it maybe three hit okay and let's see the output and okay that is uh, actually really good but i think three is still kind of strong so press ctrl z go to filter blur and again go to radial blur and this time i'm gonna go with two hit ok and let's see the output i i really wish they have some kind of uh, like preview option for this but they sadly don't have so you have to do trial and error and now this one seems really fine to me and then apply a mask and remove some of this from her face a bit and a touch from here and there and now the final step so create a new adjustment layer and select solid in the solid create a blackish color not completely black but a color really close to the black hit ok and change the blend mode to exclusion so if you turn it on and off you can see it gives that really cool hazy look and now again go back uh, you can just double click and go back and now make it a even darker and hit ok so if i turn it on and off it seems really nice and decrease the opacity until you have enough haze or as per your taste everyone likes different type of looks so the final output is ready and let's look at the after before this is my favorite part so this is the original one and this is the edited one and frankly i am really happy with the final output and also if you are if you have any problem in following this tutorial uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section i will do my best to help you out and also if you really did learn something hit that like button so that i can know also you can subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out any of my updates also check out the school tutorials by tutorials junction till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop